Hello, I'm Jeff Norwood, Belton ISD Board Trustee. Our Board of Trustees met on December 11, 2023. Today, I'd like to share some highlights with you. Our December board meeting was hosted at BISD's newest campus, James L. Burrell Elementary School. We are excited to have the opportunity to conduct our business at this brand new school, which will serve as a testament to the incredible educator for whom it was named. The construction of the school would not be possible without the support of our community and the approval of the 2022 bond election. The board had not one, but two student showcases, work-based learning program, Buckles and Beans, treated us to a fantastic demonstration of their drink preparation and day-to-day -day operations. This Lake Belton High School Cafe was designed for students in the functional academics and life skills classes to participate in during their senior year. Buckles and Beans aims to increase community awareness of all learning abilities and the importance of integrating each and every individual into society and the workplace. Just before our meeting began, we enjoyed an impressive musical performance from the North Belton Middle School Wind Ensemble. This group received superior ratings from all three judges at UIL concert and sight reading last spring, and they were named a commended winner for the 2023 Foundation for Music Education's National Wind Band Honors. The North Belton Middle School Wind Ensemble is under the direction of Dane Werman and Caitlin Pinheiro. During recognitions, we celebrated Lake Belton High School student Shrey Gupta for being recognized as a 2024 National Merit Scholarship semifinalist. Congratulations to Shrey for demonstrating perseverance, adaptability, and communication in all competencies from our district's journey of a graduate profile. We congratulated two Belton High School student athletes for qualifying to run in the state cross country meet. Junior Olivia Brillhart placed 16th out of 151 runners. This is her third state appearance. Senior Briak Ibanez finished 56th out of 151 runners at the state meet. This is his second state appearance. They are coached by Holly Lamberte. We also had the opportunity to celebrate 35 student athletes who were named the Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All-State Team. To be nominated, seniors must be in good standing with their team, have good moral character, and have an overall GPA of 92 or above. Class rank, SAT, and ACT scores are also taken into account in considerations. Congratulations to each of them. We congratulated Lake Belton High School student athletes Selman Bridges and Micah Hudson for becoming football All-American all-Stars. Selman is selected as an Army All-American. Micah is selected as an Under Armour All-American. Both students will be playing their respective All-Star games. They are coached by head football coach Brian Cope. Sparta Elementary School music teacher Carrie Dudley was recognized by the Belton Rotary Club as the educator of the quarter for her outstanding service to Belton ISD. Carrie's impact on our students goes beyond the classroom. It extends into their personal lives, helps them develop valuable skills such as discipline, teamwork, and self-expression. This is her 27th year in education instruction with Belton ISD. We celebrated BISD's construction management for the department showcase. Did you know that more than $173 million worth of voter approved new construction and improvement projects are being delivered in the most cost effective and time efficient manner possible? This one man department is led by Stephen Berry. Our community partners recognition recipient was CGI. This local business has donated to and supported Project Heartbeat, the program that supports students experiencing homelessness. CGI has provided school supplies, Christmas donations, and assisted with the mentor program for BISD students. CGI is led by Vice President Consulting Services and Board Vice President Chris Floor. We are incredibly blessed to celebrate the exceptional students and world-class staff members of our district. We moved on to some business items after we concluded the BISD recognition. The board voted unanimously to recognize and appreciate the hard work and dedication of the Belton ISD staff by approving an expenditure of a one-time $500 retention bonus for all regular employees. This decision reflects the board's appreciation for the invaluable contributions of the district's personnel despite the lack of funding from the legislature. The board understands the critical role that educators and support staff play in shaping a student's educational experience, ultimately contributing to a stronger and more cohesive school community. As an action item, we approved four new courses for the 24-25 school year. Among those courses, we are proud to announce BISD will offer wrestling, Ref Rep, Advanced Placement Pre-Calculus, and GT Pathways. 
we received an update on the annual comprehensive financial report. ACFR is a state mandated assessment of our financial performance. Belton ISD is pleased to report that it received a clean opinion from the auditors on the financial statements. We approved a resolution to accept chaplains as volunteers. The district recognizes and appreciates the value of fostering partnerships with faith-based organizations. This resolution reflects our commitment to diversity and an inclusive environment for students and staff alike. Lastly, we awarded a vendor for the new Belton ISD Agricultural Facility Bond Project. We are excited for that project to take shape and we thank you for supporting the 2022 bond. These were the highlights of our meeting. For more details or to watch the meeting in its entirety, please visit us online at bisd.net slash board of trustees.